within a day or so of submitting your interior and cover files up to Ingram, Spark, you should receive an email to say that your proof e-file is ready. There will be a link in that email that you can click and it will take you to your account, log in, and you will be able to then download the um, e-proof copy of your book for you to have a good look through and either approve or upload new files if you need to make changes. So this is what I have got open in front of me. Um, and on this first page, you can see that it gives you some instructions here about how to evaluate your e-proof. So have a good read through those. It tells, it explains a few things about um, what to look for um, and what, what to double check in your e-proof files. So have a good read and then look through carefully for all of those things. Um, on the second page, it talks about e-proof hairlines and you probably can't see on my screen, but you will see in your proof when you receive it that sometimes these little white lines can show up around elements in your book or on your cover. And it's just saying that's just the way the PDF is made. That's nothing to worry about. Those little white lines will not print out, so don't worry about those. And then scroll on down and you will see your book. I need to zoom out a bit because it's got the double page of my um, front cover. So as you can see, it's showing the full front cover here with the crop marks so you can see where it will be cut. I've already had a quick look at mine and I actually do have an issue with mine because I looked really carefully and my um, title of the front cover wasn't perfectly central um, and nor was this written and illustrated by Linda Mangoro. So I actually am going to make some changes to that file and upload it. Um, here you can see better where it's separated the front and back. So I measured and there is slightly more space here on the left of the um, wording and also I feel like the illustration is a bit off centre so I'm going to change that. And also I realised that on my interior file I forgot to put my ISBN here on the copyright page. Um, it's not essential, you don't have to, but I just feel like I'd like to have it in there so since I'm making changes anyway I'm going to do that. And then I just literally scroll through and this is um, it's not to assess colours because it might show up in the PDF um, slightly differently than it will printed. You will need to look look at a printed version um, to check things like colours. But to just check that everything's laid out correctly, the pages are in the correct order, um, whether you've got spacing issues, um, the typos, just double check for things like that. Um, have someone else look at it as well because sometimes you can miss things. Like I have actually noticed... A few things, not actually typos, ju just places where reading it through once again like this, I realised that it could flow a bit better. So since I'm uploading the file again anyway, I've decided to make a couple of small wording changes. So just go through your whole book, look really carefully at every page and read every word very carefully. When you're done, if you're really happy with everything on the cover and the interior file, you can go into your account and you can click to approve the proof. At which point you can go um, to the order section and you can actually order a copy of your book. Um, if you're not happy, there's a button at the top right you can click to upload new files and it will go through the process again. You'll need to wait another day possibly and then they will email you another e-proof to check and you'll just go through the process until you are happy with your files.